All right, folks. I'm going to play a piece that I talked about a few days ago uh, that Jakari Jackson did dealing with the video game Rainbow Six. Uh, and uh, this is one of the popular shoot 'em up military strategy games. And it's every new military game that's coming out, you fight American gun owners, tea partiers who are terrorists. Uh, and this is th just the total branding. And it's lined up to then stage events and blame it on us. You can bet your bottom dollar uh, that's what's going on. So I'm going to get to this report. Then I'll get to the latest on NSA, the latest on the G8, the latest on arming al-Qaeda publicly uh, over uh, in Syria and a lot more. And then our guest is going to be joining us from London. But uh, here is a piece that aired on InfoWars Nightly News. So we're playing it here for the radio listeners. This is for the homes you foreclosed on, the bailouts you took. We are the true patriots. The long in development Rainbow Six Patriots has been confirmed for the next generation of gaming consoles. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. Now, of course, the next generation of gaming consoles not only includes PlayStation 4, but also Xbox One, the same Xbox which is made by Microsoft, which has been alleged in the PRISM scandal, which contains advanced tracking features in their unit, but that's not the point of this report. Rainbow Six is a highly decorated tactical team, as the InfoWars.com article points out. Team Rainbow faces a new and very real threat called the True Patriots, a highly trained, well-organized revolutionary group that claim the American government is irrevocably corrupted by greedy politicians and corporate special interests. The True Patriots will do whatever it takes to reclaim their country, it goes on to say, players will face critical scenarios that will require them to make tough ethical decisions in order to stop this new breed of terrorist. We'll get to those tough ethical decisions in just one moment. And keep in mind, this is the statement from the game's own publisher, Ubisoft. Now, InfoWars has well documented in numerous reports how the mass media demonizes militia groups. The real programming is happening with these shows like Founding Fathers where the guy that's pro-gun in Texas and leading the militia, he's really Al-Qaeda, which fits into the, Al the whole narrative that, oh, it's white Al-Qaeda or gun owners are really Al-Qaeda. This game doesn't stop with just patriots. It also goes after survivalists, people who can skin a buck and run a trot line. We'll do exactly what we say or we will feel dress her like a deer. This game is a mirror for real life. Not only when conservatives and patriots are targeted by the IRS, but also when the Department of Homeland Security trains to fight the, quote, free American citizens in an exercise. And don't forget about the DHS's no hesitation targets. Now back to those ethical choices. Shooting police is nothing new in video games, but when you play a game such as Grand Theft Auto, the action is viewed as criminal and is often optional. But you'll see in this trailer for Rainbow Six, not only is the act of shooting police encouraged, it is mandated to advance in the game. Engage that YPD immediately. Are you ordering friendly fire? No time to radio now. Take the shot. Shoot your wound. They're down. And if you think that anything in this report has been taken out of context, listen to the game's former creative director, David Sears. Speaking of those terrorists, who are they now this time? They're, they're homegrown? What does that mean exactly? Yeah, they're homegrown. Uh, domestic terrorism is a pretty significant threat uh, facing the United Biden States. Shot. And uh, it's the idea that terrorists now look just like you or me. So nice it makes place. differentiating between, you know, friend and foe a lot more Cash difficult, which is totally new for Rainbow. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Five. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. And we'll end with the December 2011 edition of Game Informer magazine. It asks the question, you fought Nazi, Russian, North Korean, and Middle Eastern threats. Rainbow Six Patriots ask, can you turn your weapon on your fellow countrymen? I had to do. So targeting Americans, killing hostages, and shooting police because using a radio was too inconvenient, that's the new Rainbow Six Patriots. And many real patriots have not taken this line down. They've gone to the Ubisoft website, their Facebook page, and their Twitter page, and voiced their disgust. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars News Alert. We will feel dress her like a deer.
our government, our supposed media, is putting out every drama, every sitcom, almost every shoot 'em up video game, the new enemy, and you see this if you watch television, the new enemy, the worst people are gun owning militia people, and it's very racist because in all these TV shows and movies, they're white people. And then you see Wrangle and all these other folks go up on television, Al Sharpton, black racist, and say, oh, it's the white Southerners, but don't worry, we'll get their guns. I mean, they actually say that, like it's a white person thing to own a gun. And then they have, you know, Fox News reporters and Fox Sports reporters both come out and say, you know, the Ku Klux Klan is the NRA, when it's the opposite. It was the Democratic Party and the Ku Klux Klan that passed the first gun laws in the South so blacks couldn't have guns. And anybody that knows basic history knows that it's so frustrating. They want us fighting with each other. But that doesn't mean then that you don't then have to respond, which then just adds to the whole deal. Because just because you're not racist if you're white or you're black, it doesn't matter. Because they put all this race war stuff out in the media, so black people think, is that a racist white person? And white people think, is that a racist black person? On and on and on. Or if you don't want to pay for people to have their babies free and welfare and be above the law, well, you must be against Hispanics because that's the majority of the illegal aliens. It's so masterful what they've done, but it's also at the same time simple. And when you're awake to it, you know they're getting ready to stage something, and it turns out two months before the April 15th Patriots Day bombing in Boston, Boston Globe now reports, they had a drill planned for early next month. This was, this was like, what, four months out then. This was two months before April. They had a plan to have backpack bombs carried out by a militia group against crowds of people in Boston. <laughs> And we know they were doing a drill that day. And as best we can tell, looking at the video of contractors and military people that were there, they were there taking part in that drill that was publicly scheduled for July. And they admit they had a drill two years ago of something similar, bombing the Boston Marathon. I mean, they had so many drills, folks. So in case they got caught, oh, it's just part of the drill. And then I told you, they're going to kill FBI agents. They're going to kill people that knew the uh, Zarnev brothers, and now they have. And it's going to come out. They were on CIA payroll and sent to the caucuses to train because those terror groups are run by the CIA. That came out. It all came out. All of it. Every stinking bit of it. And I don't know how in my personal life, with my family and, and everybody, how do I, like, take time off? How do I relax? I mean, I'm asking you, the listeners, this, because this gets me so upset knowing this is happening. That I'm too focused, I'm too serious, and quite frankly, it's exhausting. And so I apologize to everybody who listens and everybody that works with me, you know, if, if sometimes I'm just so serious, but it's like I can't help it. And I'm in a world of people that instead of being serious are the opposite, the general public. I mean, they've got Homeland Security paying for $2 million worth of paper targets of little kids called No More Hesitation. And, and the company said, no, we are training, the, the Homeland Security wants them, these are to shoot. These aren't paper targets so you shoot the bad guy, you know, with the bag of money and the gun in his hand, you don't shoot the kids that pop up. This is to shoot the kids. And that was too hot for any media to handle. Kind of like it was too hot to handle four years ago, almost five years ago, when we got the Homeland Security documents saying the number one terror threat is gun owners, conservatives, returning veterans, Ron Paul supporters in the fetters. People didn't believe it. Ron Paul's office called me and they said, Alex, we know you don't make stuff up, but how'd you prove that was real? And I said, I called the phone numbers on it and the state police and the FBI, because that was two different documents, got very upset I had it and told me I wasn't supposed to have it. I said, it's real. I've seen these before. These graphics are Southern Poverty Law Center. This is just Southern Poverty Law Center with federal and state stamps on it. And then they sent a letter and got a response and came out and said, okay, it's real. 
And then now everybody's like, well, that's passe. Everybody knows that. Listen, listen to me. They put weed killer in your stinking food, folks, that they know kills you because they see you as a weed. They put fluoride in your water to hurt you and they know it's hurting you. They designed the GMO to poison you. Okay, so it isn't up to me to come up with all the answers how to fix this, okay? I'm just here trying to wake people up. It's up to you to do something about this. We'll be right back. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cysts, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. I'm here to tell you, folks, you can't just punch out a reality and tell yourself, oh, this guy's crazy. Wouldn't you be a little crazy if you knew this stuff and it was true and you couldn't get other people to wake up fast enough? I mean, yeah, I've probably gone a little mad knowing all this info but i think people that know about it and and ignore it and don't care are really the crazy ones and i've likened it to this a thousand times and i'll do it again it'd be like in those movies where which is based on a lot of true stories where a ship a boat is capsized an ocean liner whatever the case is and the water's coming up slowly and people are in it upside down and you've got to swim a hundred yards or whatever out through the dark, through the passageways to try to get out on top. And they've had cases where people just stay there and die because it's too scary to go try to swim out. And they just bang on the top of the ship until somebody finally gets to them. They just had an ocean liner recently uh, do that and people stayed in there and drowned and didn't try to swim out. And this is, an, this is like swimming 20 yards. And we know the exit. We know what brings us back to liberty. This isn't 100 yards, 200 yards. Something that's very hard to do, but you don't have a choice. You've got to attempt it. This is, this is, we're going to be destroyed if we don't wake up and get involved. I mean, look at this news here, folks. FBI looks for leaks at Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. MOD serves news outlets with D notice, Ministry of Defense, over surveillance leaks. That's right. They've ordered the Guardian and others not to report on it now, declaring national security. And they have similar things here that are classified in the U.S., where they go threaten people and threaten to arrest them. So there you go. They're shutting it down. Snowden in online chat, NSA analysts can get anything they want. No kidding. DHS hopes to get same cyber spying powers as NSA. They already have it, folks. They just want to be able to use it in court now without warrants. So when they say they want it, it's like your kids already stole $20 out of your wallet and they ask, can I have $20 out? I mean, it, it's already been done. Continuing, we could not have carried out the bin Laden raid if it was on the front pages. You mean that fake raid? This is incredible. Amazon's invasion of the CIA is a seismic shift in cloud computing. And, and, and this is a Wired Magazine story where they say, oh, the CIA is basing its servers inside Amazon systems. Folks, it's always been like this. NSA, CIA, DARPA, they're all in there. Some of their biggest profit centers in the telecoms and other related groups is from the server systems. That's all in the Cybersecurity Act that they didn't pass, but it's already implemented from four years ago. It's already in the Telecommunications Act of 96. But I've told you this about 50 times the last week. Here it is in the news again. Okay, boom. See, I told you. All right. 
Here's another one. High-tech street sign that plugs into social media. Instead of having Google cars driving around spying on you with the antennas, they're coming out with all these high-tech street signs that double as wirelessly tracking you with cameras and microphones. Again, Wired Magazine, oh, so cutting edge, telling us about it. Paul Watson wrote about that two years ago. In fact, what's old is new. I'm going to call Watson and say, do another article about the street signs that watch and listen to you. Send it over to you know, the media so we can get this out to people so they get the rest of the story. Continuing, James Clapper admits lying to the American people in at least in the least untruthful manner possible. Isn't that sweet? That's another lie. And they got the transcript to him to Congress. <laughs> Lying to you for your own good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, NSA should come clean, says Ray Kelly. Give me a break. That's rats leaving the sinking ship. Uh, that's just some of the news we've got on that front. I haven't even gotten into the huge Syria news, the economic news, aircraft carriers to guard the fake president uh, at the Dublin summit in Ireland. It's all coming up. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.